There have been a series of bridges crossing from Arsenal Island to Davenport. The current one opened in 1896, and it's still one of the busiest thoroughfares in the QC. Made of solid steel, Government Bridge is an icon. More burly than beautiful, it closely resembles its forefather, the 1872 bridge built in the same place. So we have the rail on the top like it is today, and we had wagon uh, place on the bottom. So that was the first time when that bridge opened in 72 that uh, you could actually take your wagon across the river without having to use a ferry. When the 1872 bridge became obsolete, they replaced it with the one we use today. The peerings, the, actually the support structure that go down to the bedrock and come up to the, come up to the support of the bridge uh, across those five spans you see there, uh, those are the ones that were placed in 1872. The new bridge opened in 1896. So if you don't like, you know, the fact that this bridge is 110, 15 years old, but well, you're not going to like the fact that it really, the peering is about 140 years old. Built to last through hot summers and bitter winters, it's still rock solid, but it's not free. The garrison spends about $700,000 a year on maintenance on that bridge, and it will last forever. They, they do all kinds of maintenance on it to make sure that it continues to run. You know that buzzing sound that you hear is drive across the Arsenal Bridge? It drives some folks crazy, but Eaton says it's actually a good thing. I think actually, you know, that open grading that people don't like actually makes it easier because the water and the snow all just sort of fall through. It's not only durable, but distinctive. What's really interesting about this bridge, I think, is it's only one of two in the world that turns 360 degrees both ways. So that span can follow a barge through both directions. The goal is to get the swing span opened and closed as quickly as possible, minimizing delays to road traffic. The span itself is 1,250 tons, and that's just the swing span uh, itself. So, so it's a very heavy, which is, makes it even more impressive that a, a 56 horsepower engine turns it. It's not light, but that swing span floats like a butterfly. In fact, when you jack it up to, to clear it from the, from the pins and the stops, uh, the wind can actually turn it by itself. And then the, the bridge master just uses a brake to slow it down. Glitzy and glamorous, no. High quality and historic, no question. The current government bridge is about 300 yards downriver from the first railroad bridge across the Mississippi, which opened in 1856. Steve Long, CBS.